waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. Tell you how I'm doing. Not well, bitch. Pass the holy whore. Jealous of what? Your ugly leather pants? Should I bow to you? Okay. Tornado, spin the truth, destroy. Hello, everybody, true. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills. And guys, it's a new year. Yesterday was my one year anniversary on here on YouTube. And now it is time to continue because there is no time for vacation on the Bravo T universe, right? I hope every single you of you enjoy my interview with Ronald Richards yesterday. If you haven't watched it, you need to go and do that right now. But then it's also time to talk about the Erica Jane show because apparently she is talking, oh well, a source close to her is saying or spilling the tea about if she will go to the reunion or not. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troops, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this mess. Guys, so apparently, you know, nobody knows if Erica Jane is going to go to the reunion, even if she should go to the reunion or if she's going to like, hurt herself more than she is already doing it you know basically everything that she says at this point is gonna go against her okay everyone is watching the show the trustees the lawyers the victims you know they're just waiting for erica to keep putting her foot on her mouth as she has been doing it over and over and over right so the big question is now we are now we're still like on the first half of the of the season, so but the question is like, are we gonna have, are, are we gonna see her at the reunion, okay? And if she goes, what are they gonna really talk about? So basically, according to this news source, right? Which honestly, I always think that it's Erica herself talking, you know. But anyways, it says that Erica is ready to talk at the reunion that she is planning to spill as much as she can, so nothing, despite being the being her toughest reunion yet. Erica knows that she will need to address absolutely everything that has been happening, not only while they were filming, but everything that he's, has been happening after they wrap up you know so all the rumors and everything that is happening and everything that is out there um and she knows and she is expecting andy coin to actually go on and ask her all the hard questions girl honestly at this point like Okay, if you saw if you saw my interview with Ronald Richards yesterday, what did he say? If she were to come out and collaborate and give everything that is needed, you know, he will be the first one to clear her name and to say, you know what, Miss Gerardi doesn't have anything to do with this case. She is innocent. Leave her alone. Blah blah blah. And it is what it is, right? But it hasn't happened yet. So unless it happened from here to the reunion, everything that she is saying, it's still bullshit. You know what I mean? If she still has not addressed the victims, she is still not collaborating with the trustees, not releasing her uh, financial information, not doing anything, then what is she going to go over there? Keep lying. Andy can ask all the questions that he can and her answers are going to be either like, I cannot talk about that or, um, or no, actually what happened was this or cover with another lie. Or of course, uh, uh Andy Cohen is going to ask him, ask her about like, Oh, so your story about the cliff and the crash of Tom, it was very confusing for the viewers. So, um, Maria from 
um, Idaho is asking if you can explain that again. And we're going to be like, bitch, we don't give a fuck about the fucking accident. We don't care about that. Okay. So honestly, yes. I mean, she's not going to address the thing that it needs to be addressed at this point. Okay. I don't think she's going to do it. If she will do it, I will be like, whoa. Okay. But I don't think she's going to do it. So anyways, she's also saying that she is pretty sure that all of her co-stars will, sh uh, from the show, wait, what? Oh, will back her up as they have been doing it for all this time. So that will be even worse. You know, if Andy Cohen is, I don't know, asking an actual good question, you know, and she's like, yeah, no, I mean, the thing is, and then, I don't know, Crystal is saying, like, yeah, I mean, you, you never know, like, your husband asked you to sign so many things. It's going to be a shit show, honestly. At this point, I keep saying it, unless she find out a way to put it out there that she is actually innocent with receipts, she should not go to the reunion. She should just leave the show and it is what it is because it's the only way that people are going to stop talking about her, honestly. But anyways, um, and then apparently she's saying that she will be down to come back for season 12 of The Real Hogs of Beverly Hills. That only if Bravo invite her to be back. <sighs> I don't know what is going to happen that uh, around that. I don't know if Bravo is going to ask her. We will have to wait and see. Anyways, that's what we know from for now. Um, should I think that Bravo should ask her back? No. It's like asking Jen Shaw to be back. Look, there is all these things happening with the Real Housewives of New York when, like, they are, I mean, that's another video, but apparently, I mean, they are outraged because, you know, the, the rating has been going down just because they're having a race conversation. How are they going to invite criminals back to another season? Or if, even if she's innocent, people who are in the middle of these big scandals should not be invited back. It would just hurt the channel or the network or the show or the franchise. I don't know. I mean, I think it's it's too much, you know? It's, the drama is too intense. We have people, like, suffering around this, you know, and they... Are they going to keep profiting from this? I get it for one season because, I mean... We were curious, and you know, a scandal is always going to sell good, but keep having the same scandal over and over and over. I don't know. Especially when there is victims involved, okay? Like, if we saw Teresa Giudice's uh, case, at least she was, they, they were stealing from the IRS. So, like, who give a fuck, you know, at the end of the day? Like, okay, pay back, and, and that's it, you know? And they went to jail, and they did whatever, but they actually, it was like a, like a, um, a different kind of uh, crime not saying that it was right because it was fucked up you know but at least they were not stealing from orphans and widows and born victims and every single person around them you know what i mean so no i feel that bravo should just say we're just gonna you know thank you it was five fabulous year girls you know but let's let's you know keep it there and don't call us back. We will call you. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, yeah, do you think that she should call back? Do you think that she's going to go to the reunion? I don't know. Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video. Share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.